guys what's up welcome back to my channel we're trying out something really cool so this is the origins pore perfecting cooling primer with willow herb so nothing really crazy about that until you realize that this is a foaming primer so i don't know if there are others on the market this is certainly the first one that i have seen so today we're just gonna put it to the test i'm not gonna do a crazy makeup look today i'm just gonna put on some foundation we're gonna see how this primer works and then i'm just gonna go about the rest of my day it's already in the afternoon but i know i'm gonna be up late i'm gonna be hanging out at the house for a little while i'm gonna eat i'm gonna go to the gym later in the night and then i'm gonna check back with you guys and show you guys how this did so a little bit of info first this will cost you $32 at Sephora and I'm gonna read you the details just so you know a little bit more about it so it says this is a who's texting me about dinner sorry that was a food text I had to answer that it's on now. So it says this is a cooling airy mousse primer that leaves the skin looking fresh, pore perfected, and softly glowing. Sounds good. It is a solution for dullness and uneven texture as well as pores. So this is the perfect glow to step between skincare and makeup. Smooth this super cooling weightless primer on skin after moisturizer and before makeup to improve the appearance of pores, smooth texture, and brighten skin. Okay. It says it's for normal, oily, and dry skin that's everybody I hope combination is somewhere in there it says to shake it well get this hair out of my face Ooh. it's very citrusy Ooh, look at the foam okay so I'm gonna put some on Ooh. definitely cooling looks like it's got a little slight tint to it A little bit goes a really long way because that's really spreading nicely and a little bit about my skin so I do have concerns of pores I feel like mine are always kind of visible no matter what I do so a good pore perfecting primer is a necessity for me when it comes to makeup I think in the summertime putting this on when I'm hot yes because for some reason I always feel like I am 20 degrees hotter every time I start to do my makeup just then. Anybody else? Am I crazy? So overall, it's feeling really nice. So on its own, it hasn't really like visibly reduced anything. I'm gonna take just a tad more. And go a little heavier on my nose area. All right, so the next step is gonna to be to put on some foundation. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation today just because I know how it works. It's more of a natural finish. I am combination, so I usually don't use something super matte, but I also don't like a super radiant foundation. So this is kind of in between. I'm using the Morphe E9 to apply it with. I need to pick up the Makeup Forever brush for this because everybody says it's so amazing. Foundation is complete. It's looking pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't really think that this is filling pores the way that some other primers do. Um, because the texture of this one feels so thin and even where I layered it, it looks better on the nose where I used more. So maybe I needed to use more in other areas as well. But we'll have a good comparison because I can still see some texture in the cheeks. But I'm going to go and do concealer and set my face and then we'll see what everything looks like. All right, so I put on just concealer and set everything with powder. So now that everything is set, I do have to say it looks smoother with everything kind of done as I normally would. It looks really matte, um, which of course, when I first do my foundation, I do use a lot of powders. Obviously, I set my under eye, I set my entire face, and then a lot of times I will go over it with Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Powder as well. So it's very powdery. It always tends to get a little bit softer or more natural looking throughout the day. And I did use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Setting Spray, which normally makes all the powders look more natural, but not with this one. I'm still looking really, really matte. 
and I used a lot of spray. So I'm looking matte and powdery. The primer absolutely did something with that because it does not normally look super matte, especially with that Rainforest So the Sea spray. I've got several hours before the end of my day, so I'm just gonna go about my business and then I will check in with you guys and show you the end result. I'm back and I've had this foundation on for several hours. Uh, you can see just a little bit of a sheen there. I didn't have this on for like an extremely long amount of time, but I would say about five to six hours. And overall, it's looking really good. It is definitely a little bit more matte than I usually am at this time um, because I'll usually blot throughout the day, like halfway through my day, and then several hours later, you guys have seen me at night looking really, really shiny. I'm just a little bit, but I actually like the way that it looks. I like that little natural glow to the skin. After I filmed, we sat on the couch, we ate dinner, I had a salad, we watched the five year engagement, which is a pretty long movie, and we watched like all the extra scenes and gag reel and all that stuff because I love that movie so much. And um, yeah, then we went for a long walk, we probably walked about two miles. Um, you guys know I'm just starting to get back into working out all the time so I didn't do anything super strenuous. We did walk a couple of miles which was pretty good and my makeup still looks really in place. Everything looks pretty, you know, perfected, smooth. I do think that this primer is pretty good so if you're oily and especially if you're breakout prone because the willow herb in this is good for breakouts. It's basically kind of like a natural salicylic acid. So that's really good if you are looking for a kind of gentle alternative to a salicylic acid based primer. This one would be a good one to try out. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. I don't think my pores look as smooth as with some thicker primers. Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer for instance, is a really good one that really fills in the pores and I feel like the texture is smoother. This one does okay though. It just, I can still see a little fine layer of that texture on the skin, which normally with other primers I probably wouldn't have. So that's the good and the bad of this. Foaming primer is kind of different, but I don't think this, this is like a gimmick or anything. I think it works, especially if you're oily or acne prone, I would definitely look into this primer. So that is my entire video on the Origins Pore Perfect and Cooling Primer with Willow Herb, the foam primer. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. Be sure to check out my giveaway below and make sure to leave a thumbs up if you like this type of video and definitely leave comments below of any products you'd like to see me try out on my channel. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!